I just arrived in my hotel room in Jamaica after oh look you can see me in the mirror my bags are here um yeah I just arrived at, at the hotel after god knows how many hours I've been flying and traveling from um the flight was about 10 hours and then I was stuck in immigration for about an hour as well because hey my passport apparently needed a visa of some sort um but yes i'm at a hotel i'm very 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 tired um i'm gonna try and have a shower or something but anyway this is my hotel room nothing special huge bed like that's probably the biggest um bed i've seen in my life <laughs> and um yeah nice bathroom shower hey um nice big shower as well <laughs> everything's very big <laughs> their houses are very big i noticed on on the drive here i landed on montego on in uh, montego bay and then now i'm in kingston so um before i jump in the shower i'm gonna try and show you guys the view that i have because it's quite a nice view if i can open the door oh gosh my face is so red Ooh, it's about 20 degrees here um that's the view it's blue mountains and um yeah this is kingston and i'm on seventh floor and it looks amazing and um yeah I'm very tired Whew, but it's worth it um it was a bit stressful i'm not gonna lie but i managed to do it i'm here i'm really proud of myself um but yes shower and food and then sleep i think at the moment is probably 11 o'clock in the uk at night um and here it's only gone half past so yes i'm very tired woke up at about three o'clock in the morning um so yes time to shower change and uh go and eat some food <laughs> catch you guys later Morning, everyone. Uh, I'm. Guess where? <laughs> I'm at uh, Bob Marley's museum in Kingston. Um, it's about nine o'clock in the morning. Uh, we had a little bit of breakfast at the hotel, and today we have a day packed of a couple of activities. So um, Bob Marley Museum is the first one, and um, so far it looks very interesting. It's really really hot compared to the weather that we had in the UK it's very different um, so yes we're gonna visit the museum today and uh, then we're gonna go up in the Blue Mountains and um, we're gonna go to a coffee place and then we are going to gosh what was next oh yes we're gonna have a hike through the Blue Mountains um, where we're gonna need some wet shoes apparently because we're gonna go in the water a little bit so yeah but the weather is lovely i'm with a couple more journalists that are just taking some pictures there now and um it's such an amazing weather and it's it's lovely so um there it is <laughs> of his life and not just a home but a musical headquarters he actually made music and made many songs here did many interviews here and smoked many spliffs here <laughs> so you can follow me this one okay so we just came out of um the house where bob marley spent his last five years of his life i think 
um, unfortunately were not allowed to film or take pictures inside so I couldn't do anything like that if I find something online I'll probably put some pictures in here but um, yeah we got to see a couple of the rooms where he actually lived in the recording studio um, his bedroom bathroom which is insane and then here outside we have the lyrics of three little birds on the wall and there are a couple of steps there and uh, apparently that's where he wrote the song three little birds um, and yeah now I need to head back into a, another room in the house where I won't be able to film but is where someone attempted to kill him he got shot inside so I'm gonna go in The only place where we are allowed to film is where he used to, um, it was like a record factory and he used to uh, basically make his own records and stuff like that. And we also have, I think, his car, um, Land Rover, so um, yeah, it's all very exciting. So we are top on Blue Mountains now. You can see Kingston in the distance over there. You can see the whole town. People are making fun of me around. Everybody's laughing and running away because they tried to vlog and they couldn't. But, uh... <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's an awesome group of people. We have our guides here and people from Tourism Jamaica helping us. Um, but yeah, we're on our way to have some coffee. But we stopped here because that view is incredible. So uh, I'm gonna take a couple more pictures with the camera and then we're gonna go back on the bus and we're all right. So we have reached our next stop. We are now on a Blue Mountain Trail and we are here to try some coffee. Now, I haven't tried. Oh, there's a, there's a peculiar smell in the air. Sort of soury in a way. I don't know how to explain it, but it's, it's quite, quite different from anything I smelled before. Uh, <laughs> so um, yeah, we're here to try some coffee. And uh, funny enough, I'm usually a tea person. And uh, this morning in the hotel room, I realized I didn't have any milk. So I actually had a coffee this morning, <laughs> which to be honest, was a very, very nice cup of coffee. So um, it looks like, yeah, this trip is gonna be the trip that I, you know, that will get me back into drinking coffee, I guess. <laughs> so uh, yeah. Gosh, these stairs are a little bit steep. It's quite nice, it got a little bit cloudy now, so uh, temperature is quite enjoyable. And uh, this is our spot. Everybody is taking pictures and I think we're gonna go up there somewhere and visit a plantation and learn a little bit about the coffee and everything. So uh, ooh, I feel a little bit of rain as well. I think it will start raining soon. <laughs> But uh, yeah, lovely. So this is uh, where they produce some of the, of the Yushima coffee. And I think I saw that in the, in the UK. I think I saw it in some of the shops, but yeah, the road was very windy, very, very narrow road, but uh, such a beautiful spot and you're surrounded by nature. You can hear the random car every now and again. <laughs> um, but apart from that, it's very peaceful and you can hear a couple of birds, but nothing else. Welcome to the Creekness State, welcome to the Blue Mountains of Jamaica and to the home of the best coffee on planet Earth. <laughs> so my name is Alton Bedward, or given name you should say is Alton, I should say is Alton Bedward, but you can call me Junior Intelligence. <laughs> Keep forward. Yeah. Okay. 
So now we're gonna go up and look at a plant, coffee plant. Okay, and now I think this is just the start of the plantation. So we stop here and this is a coffee tree. And then you have the tiny beans over here. Um, really, really tiny, but it doesn't smell like coffee. But yeah, this is how a coffee tree should look like. And um, yeah, I think we have a couple of small ones as well. Over here, this is how the small ones look like. It's almost, the leaves are all looking almost like an avocado plant um, leaf. But yeah, it's quite interesting. Now we're gonna go on to our next location where we're gonna have some lunch in a quite um, interesting place from what I've heard. So, yeah. Goats. People have their farms oh, on the way. I can't have goat after looking at those cuties. <laughs> <laughs> My goat was delicious. It's really nice, yeah. Really yeah. Cool, but they're yeah. so cute. <laughs> Next time I'm going to order that. I'm covering us up with BMPs. Oh my gosh, look at those. You can't even see the road now. Oh, like roller coasters. Oh, it's just like roller coasters. Hands up! Oh my god, should I strap <laughs> in? <laughs> I'm trying to film uh, it. Can, can we add a more action packed song? Yeah. Like, we need a better soundtrack. Like, I'm going down. 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 I'm going there's the river going through and then there's this hut um, and then you're just, we are literally just surrounded by nature everywhere and um, yeah, it's truly beautiful, truly, truly beautiful. <laughs> He's our driver and my cameraman now because he was using my phone and now after we had some food at a lovely place by the water we are in the woods in a canyon there's a lot of water we're just walking in it and um, yeah just lots of lots of green around us and big big rocks and uh, whew, surprising that the water is not as cold as I imagine, or maybe because it's really hot outside, I just don't feel it as cold. But um, yeah, it's really lovely. Now I'm gonna stop this because I have to get up on that big thing. So, uh, hey! <laughs> so, here you go. So, this is madness. It all went into the water. Now we're gonna go back into the water and take a group picture, hopefully. So I'm gonna put my camera down and stuff. So there you go. So, finished lunch. As I said, we were just walking around. Found this amazing waterfall. Took a couple of pictures here. Stupidly, I left my bathing suit back where we had lunch because I imagined it's not that hot because it's a bit cloudy. So, 
yeah, and people went in and had a swim and stuff, and it was really nice. And um, yeah, now we're gonna head back to the hotel, and then we're gonna have a dinner a little bit later, which I don't think I'm gonna film, but we'll see how it goes. So uh, yeah, all in all, very successful day. Look at those trees. guys can hear me we are now in Kingston we have come down somewhere very very close to the port to the harbor and uh, there's a new initiative by Jamaica called um, Kingston Creative where they focus on showcasing um, like the streets full of murals and stuff like that so um, yeah there you go we have we found an artist and he's just painting this wall and he just talked with us a little bit like about what he's doing. Today. <laughs> <laughs> so, very talented. This is his eighth year that he's doing. So, yeah, and hopefully we can get to go and uh, view a couple more. Okay, so, um, this is like their art district. There's a sign here that says art district. And honestly, these are so beautiful, they're so vibrant, and the designs are absolutely stunning. Like, yeah, I don't know, like, one photograph them all, they're, they're incredible. Let me turn the camera around. We are now at Port Royal um, in Jamaica and uh, we are just exploring what's left of it. Um, this place has a lot of connections to pirates um, 
and it's a really interesting place to just visit and just getting here is insane because you basically leave you feel like you leave the main island and then you you keep driving on this like thin uh, piece of, of land so um, yeah it's a really interesting place it's full of um, full of history really and uh, yeah this way to the giddy house <laughs> yeah i left the group a little bit there's a, a group of kids uh visiting the area as well so it's a little bit loud so i wanted to um uh, do an update but it's also very very hot um and yeah luckily there's a little bit of a breeze coming through every now and again but um yeah it's very hot it's like we are right in the middle of the day so that's why i'm trying to stay in the shade <laughs> um so yeah, it's a really beautiful place. I took some pictures here, so I'm going to pop them up on the screen um, because I, I'm not able to film a lot here because of all the kids and stuff. So um, yeah, but it's pretty cool. <laughs> Hi guys, so it's the final night officially in Jamaica. Um, the conference has ended and we are at a garden party. Um, we have a big big sign that says resilience there which you probably will see flipped. Um, but yeah, it was a lovely trip. It was very busy. There was a lot of um, conferences and talks and a lot of, you know, a lot of solutions were brought forward um, that should be done in the tourism um, so yeah I had a lovely time and um, hopefully I'll be back really really soon <laughs> so yeah take me somewhere wonderful so tired of being misunderstood I keep on doing all the good Cause life always works out as it should yeah. And for so long, we are old on So tired of being misunderstood I keep on doing all the good Cause life always works out as it should